What is up guys? As you can see today, another King of Glory video. And today we're gonna be looking at a new-ish hero. Like she came out a couple months ago in King of Glory. But of course, we have never seen her in Arena of Valor. And um, I am not sure if she's gonna be released. She has only three skills and they are adding a lot of um, King of Glory heroes to the Arena of Valor test server lately. So I feel like it is definitely possible. And this hero is really special. You can see, first of all, you can see her health bar is really, really small. It's only two bars. So it's only like 400 HP right now, right? And every other hero, see, even the Sephira has three bars and she's a squishy hero too. So this hero is super squishy. However, it's actually very tanky. Um, her passive is that whenever she takes damage, her mana gets reduced. Like the more mana she has, the more shield she has. Her mana is basically her shield, you know? She uses mana as her health as well. And um, if she drops to, to zero mana, then she will take full damage and she will get absolutely one shot by everything. But as long as she is um, very healthy on the mana compartment, she's gonna be really tanky. And now her skills don't, her first two skills do not use any mana. Um, they instead regen her mana. Her S2 is an AoE that she can place on the ground, as you saw. It deals a lot of damage over time on the ground and around herself. And if you stand on top of that and the enemy is on top of both of your circles, it will deal double damage, of course. And it also sucks more mana from the enemy. So, and yeah, as I was saying, it sucks mana from the enemy. It doesn't just generate mana, it steals mana from the enemy. And you can see he's playing really, really well there. Um, he almost ends up dying though. And you saw a little glimpse of the ultimate, but first I'll explain to you the S1. The S1 is a really long range skill shot. It's like more than your screen, way more. And it basically, um, if it hits, it's really slow too. It's a really slow bubble. But if it hits, it um, deals damage to, um, it deals damage and it stuns the enemy or it roots him. He cannot walk away from the spot. He can still auto attack cast skills, but he cannot move. You see how slow the circle is. And if you auto attack or deal any kind of damage to that enemy that is in that route, it will pop a mark and deal like AOE damage around him and to him. So, and that also generates mana. Now, um, the passive, you saw it there, or another part of the passive is whenever you port back, you can um, teleport back to the spot you poured it back from. You saw it a couple seconds ago. She was flying from base to her um, lane again. And um, yeah, and there's another passive. You can see she is auto attacking while she's moving. And that is whenever she skills her, I believe S2, I believe S2 or S1, I'm not sure. I think S1 actually. As soon as she has her S1, the passive of the S1 is that her auto attacks turn into magic damage and she can move while auto attacking and they also generate mana. Now, now we get to the most important part of her kit, which is her ultimate. Her ultimate makes her throw a ton of um, little uh, balls and they basically home onto the enemies in front of her. And you can see here, you see she throws little things and they all home onto the enemies. And basically, she didn't die, beautiful. Ooh, she almost dies here though. No, she doesn't end up dying. Um, very well played. Anyway, and the Sephira way overdove that. Like, of course she's gonna die there. Anyway, so, and these deal a ton of damage, especially if only one person is around, all of them are gonna flock to that one person and it absolutely kills people in two seconds, right? But it uses your whole mana like this. It drains it so fast. So you can only use it whenever you're basically draining mana from something. Like um, if, you, if, if the enemy is sitting in your S2 and you're draining mana from them and you use that ult, it's just gonna absolutely kill everyone. It's, it's insane. So you can see it's a very interesting hero. And then um, the person who we're looking at is very very high rank again so this game won't be um it, it won't have too much action it won't have like he won't go 15-0 you know um this is a very high high rank game so it's more gonna be about about macro and stuff but um i wanted to show you 
uh, one of these every once in a while as well. Let me know if you prefer the very high rank games, which won't be too exciting to watch, or if you prefer the still high rank games, but you know, when he goes 15 0 and stuff like that. And you saw there, the ult drains the mana very rapidly. I can show you again. He used the S2, and you can see the ult is just draining mana constantly, but he is regening mana mm, from the minions um, on the S2 and from the enemy on the ground. You can see here, look at this. Look at this damage. Crazy damage. Absolutely crazy damage, but her mana is almost completely gone. And you know, she's really, really squishy now. And I have to say something, whenever she takes damage and she has full mana, it also drains mana. So by attacking her, almost dies here, <sighs> okay, she does end up dying. Um, by attacking her while she's ulting you, you will also reduce her damage because she will run out of mana even faster. So it's a really, really cool hero. Anyway, um, I believe her name is, I don't know how to, um, you, you write change, right? But it's like Changu or Changi, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but yeah. Basically, she is in Mobile Legends as well, but not um, exactly the same. But it's a similar design, you know? Mobile Legends obviously stole it from this game a little bit, but you know, it's fine. It's fun. It's okay. Anyway, you can see she jungles really fast. Basically, what we do with this hero, you go mid, you clear the wave as fast as possible with your S2, and it obviously clears really fast, right? And then you just try to steal a jungle camp from the enemies. That's basically what you do with this hero. And of course, um, as you might have suspected, she is really blue buff reliant. If she gets a blue buff, she can go crazy with her mana stuff. If she doesn't get a blue buff, she's gonna be, you know. And um, she's actually the only hero who builds Orb of the Maggie in this game. Because Orb of the Maggie doesn't give you a lot of AP in this game, it instead gives you a lot of mana in addition to the health. And in Arena of Valor, um, it gives us AP, so it's a really good item. But usually, you don't really want to build mana on mm, almost no heroes, so um, it's not used in, a, uh, in King of Glory. However, in this game, it is really good on her, on only this hero, pretty much. See, she, do she doesn't have the S2 ready, so she couldn't do much there. And she's still, I mean, this game is still pretty action-packed. It's just that he's assistance Andy this game. Like, he's not getting a lot of kills. He's just getting the assists. And um, funnily enough, so her mana is not really a shield, right? Because she doesn't have a shield, but it really works just like a shield. So true damage goes through her mana, so to speak. So if you're playing against the Maloc, or if you're playing against the Xanis, he's gonna one-shot you really, really, really fast. So, yeah, you gotta watch out against those heroes. Also, there's a really funny build where you don't skill S1, I think. And um, so your, your, your auto attacks don't become magic damage, and then you just go full crit. And um, you just go at auto attack, you know? And... Um, if you want to see a gameplay of that, let me know in the comments. I will be glad to provide. But uh, yeah, I might do it anyway, even if people don't want it, low. But yeah, and here you can see the passive again. He ports back and he presses the back port button again. And she charges up a little bit and then she starts flying on a straight path back to this little spot here. You saw the little circle with the half moon. That is her passive or part of her passive. And the other part is the mana being your shield. And you can see, beautiful, he throws the S1 into the direction where he thinks the Puppet Master will jump to. And um, yeah, by the way, the jungler who is doing so well on his team is Kricknack, as you can see, the little girl with the Falcon. Um, I mean, you can see that it's Kricknack, right? She flies and then she jumps down and stuff like that. And you can see how slow the skill shot is, like, you really can't rely on hitting it. It's so incredibly slow. It's really just a... It's basically like a thing that you have to throw out in in a moment when it's the least uh, predictable. Like right now, the Xanis could have jumped on her and he would have just gotten stunned. I think she kills the Xanis here. And with that kill, she gains the double buff, which is super juicy for her. 
Um, the blue buff, as I said, really, really strong on her. Because she will just be able to spend that ult um, way more than usually. And the second item she built, by the way, was um, an Aegis. Because again, it gives mana, cooldown reduction. Really good for her. Really, really good item for her. They do end up getting the Slayer. Her Lishin ends up uh, getting it with a Punish, I think. I, I think he's playing sideline Lishin with Punish. That's what you usually do. Especially in high rank, I think. And um, yeah, as I said, this 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 is 1900 um, rank. So, this is definitely one of the highest. He's trying to trap the guy and he is gonna. Look at this. Look at this beautiful stun. Instantly, just... This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, guys. You completely one-shot him. He's waiting for the guy to come. Throws the S2, throws the S1. And just ults. And he's dead. And yeah, not much he can do there. Not much he can do there. She actually went Rayas to lifesteal. Huh? She actually went a lot of magic lifesteal. She went two items with magic lifesteal. That's crazy. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I think at least. I think the other item has magic lifesteal as well. I'm not sure. Anyway. You can see she kills... Oh, he's he's bad. He's not a good puppet. Or maybe he is, but it's just unlucky, I guess. He, I think he's just getting outplayed by this um, Changu, Changi. I don't know, man. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to pronounce that. He's trying to get the buff. He gets it by his jungler. Oh, it resets. That is sad. But it's okay. He ends up getting it anyway. He's gonna buy the... He's gonna finish the Rayos right now. And he's... Again, trying to trap somebody. This is how you play this hero. It's an assassin. It doesn't seem like an assassin, but it definitely is an assassin. You just wait in bushes. Someone walks into you, you stun them, you S2 them, you ult them, and they die. And he knows he's not gonna get trapped again. She gets the rep off as well. As I said, she auto attacks while moving. So, as you saw there. And um, so red buff is really good to have because you end up auto attacking quite a lot. And um, yeah, you can also flicker during ult, which not a lot of people do because you have to hold down the ult to uh, use it. And then if you flicker during that, it's like you have to get a second finger on the right side of the screen, which is a little bit weird. But yeah, he gets the another kill, and that is the game. That was beautiful performance by him. He, hit a lot of stuns and it's really not easy to hit them uh, you can see here 1900 plus 20 juicy points super good player and we can see his build no we cannot see they're not gonna show his build i guess are they gonna show the build yep they did show his build do they show the damage yep they do nice 33 percent damage 25 percent damage by the quick knack very well played by both of them um, 0% damage dealt. I think it was a 4v5. I didn't even notice. I think it might have been a 4v5. 0% damage dealt by the support. That seems a little bit weird, but who knows. Anyway, boys, I didn't even notice. I was too um, too busy explaining. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more of this hero, if you want to see the AD build, let me know in the comments. And yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.